If you use tracks in Arrangement View in Ableton Live, you've probably seen this happen. You go to build your set and you drag your original live file into your new file and your locators are completely gone. Hey, I'm Will Doggett, Ableton Live Certified Trainer, founder of From Studio to Stage. Today I wanna to show you how you can create what I call a markers track. The markers track is gonna allow you to move sets from one file to another and always see exactly what section of the song you're in. So, let's get started. Welcome to From Studio to Stage, where every Friday we post a brand new tutorial showing you how to use Ableton Live on stage. Today's tutorial is brought to you by Oyen Digital. If you use your computer to make music, you need a high performance, rock solid hard drive. And that's exactly what Oyen Digital does. Their DuraLine hard drives are excellent solutions for live performance. The Mini Pro Dura RAID is a portable RAID drive with capacities up to 10 terabytes, all powered through one cable. With speeds up to 800 megabytes a second, SSD and HDD versions available, and configurable RAID options, the Mini Pro Dura RAID is the perfect solution if you're looking for a high capacity, reliable, and rugged drive for live performance. To get 20% off any Dura hard drive, head to oyendigital.com and use the code Dura20. That's O-Y-E-N digital.com and use the code Dura20. Thanks to Oyen Digital for your support of From Studio to Stage. So the basic problem here is when you drag sets between each other in Ableton, the locators don't come with it. Now, if you're not sure what a locator looks like, let me open the original file here to show you what that live file looks like. You'll notice I have locators for every section of the song so that I can quickly jump between the B section to the main intro, back to the A section. This is super convenient, it allows me to jump around my arrangement and have freedom live when I'm playing tracks to just hit repeat and jump back to section, which is great. Now, when I brought these same stems on to a new live set, you'll notice those all those locators were gone. So here's how to solve that. We wanna create what's called a markers track, and it's super easy to do. The first thing I wanna do is create a MIDI track, and I'm gonna just go ahead and rename this using Command R, markers. And then what I wanna do is create a MIDI clip that runs the span of the live set. So I'm gonna go from the end here and drag all the way to the beginning. Then I'm gonna use my keyboard shortcut, Command Shift M to create a MIDI clip. And you see that that's created now. Now we're gonna go all the way to the beginning of our arrangement. And there's a few steps that we do here to make this happen. So let me show you that process and then we just repeat it. So I'm gonna click at the very beginning of the arrangement and I'm gonna do Command R to rename. And I'm gonna call this intro. Next thing, all option and right arrow, okay? And then command E to split, and then right arrow just to go over one, and then command R to rename. And I'm gonna rename this base. Now we're gonna do that whole process again. Alt option, right arrow, command E to split, right arrow, command R to rename, call that in. And then we're just gonna do that process over and over until we get the entire song mapped out. Now, once you get your entire MIDI clip split and everything named, hit Command S to save that MIDI track. And I'm gonna go ahead and close that up. And I wanna move this to the top of my set so that's the very first track in my set. Now, let's go ahead and build our new live set. So I'm gonna open a new live file, delete all my tracks except for this first MIDI track. So I'm gonna add a locator and call this song one. And then I'm gonna drag that same file into my live set and watch what happens this time. This time when I drag in, you're gonna see the markers track comes along with it. And that's gonna give me that visual indication of every section of the song. Now, what I could do is go ahead and play, and let's set our tempo to 95, which is what this song is at. And I could jump into this, the lick section here by clicking there. To jump ahead to B section. But to make this easier for me, what I wanna do is actually create locators. So I'm gonna right click, and do add locator. Now, because I have the markers, I'm not gonna name each locator. I'm just gonna right click to do add locator. And this is gonna make things way, way easier. Also, by having the locators added into our set, it allows us to do previous locator, next locator, and basically have a repeat or skip ahead the arrangement with one button. Again, super easy uh, to do and to make this happen. Now, the cool thing about this too is, 
We could also eventually automate the addition of all these locators using the IAC driver. And to learn more about that or advanced concepts on running tracks with Ableton Live, make sure to head to fromstudiotostage.com where you can start a free seven day trial that gives you access to the entire course catalog that we have there, access to the private Facebook community where you can get on and chat with each other, be encouraged by other people that are trying to learn how to use Ableton Live on stage together. And then finally, you get a monthly call where we all come together and talk about using Ableton Live. I answer questions that you have and then also share things that I'm working on and things I'm learning in Ableton Live. I think you really would enjoy it. Now, thanks so much for watching this tutorial and hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye.